7 p.m. Your most you must sign in the you will ever see. I'm hanging on to you. I'll be hanging on everyone. Yes. Control yourself. Everyone. All right. When you're ready, Mr. Clark. Mayor Lowry. Here. Mr. Reynolds. Here. Mr. Lindsay. Here. Mr. Lighty. Here. Mr. Rick Lowry. Here. Mr. Leslie. Present. Mr. Craig Locker. I'm here. All members present. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. We did All right. We have time to look at the by Councilman Aaron Lighty. Let's bow our heads. Dear Holy Father, we're so thankful that we can come here. Lord, we ask that you be with each and every one of us here tonight. God, we ask that uh, you help us make decisions that will better our city and just help everything we do glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Second by Mr. Lindsay. Sir, my, my, my name. I misspelled my name. Your name? <laughs> of all the names. What are you laughing at? <laughs> right. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay. I agree. Check color. Okay, Mr. Lighty. Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry. Yes. Mr. Leslie. Yes. Mr. Craybon. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Mr. Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Lindsay. Yes. Minutes past seven to zero. Thank you, sir. Communication is not five. Drop down to the city manager of the Mr. Britt. Good evening. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of council, members of public. I'd like to share with you the city manager's report. Under action report, you'll see uh, uh, one of the attachments is uh, volunteer firefighter dependent fund board. And what we need to do is council needs to make a motion to approve two members from council to be part of that board. Um, I know we have a new council being sat here in January with some new faces. Uh, Spawn speaking with Councilman Lindsay today about some other things. I brought this up to him. He did offer to be one of the two seats. So we would need a, another member from council to be there. Uh, this board, I can't remember if any they have ever met. Um, this is a requirement by the Ohio Revised Code. Um, so if council could make a motion to make it Mr. Lindsay and one other person so I can set off to uh, the appropriate agency, which is the Department of Commerce, um, before the deadline, that would be greatly appreciated. No, I just want to uh, I would like to suggest maybe Mr. Luffley, since he is currently retired. <laughs> <laughs> I would accept that. Uh, I totally forgot he was retired now. I'm going through all who doesn't work in here. It's been right. no one else will. My question was, uh, when is it due by? So here, December 31st. So we have to do it. Yeah. Do it before. Mr. Lyle, you yeah. have to be the only Oh, no, I was going to say Mr. Luffley is probably a fine choice. Oh. <laughs> Possibly. Probably. <laughs> something to so this is done every year so the new council being set will have their opportunity you need a motion for each individual i need to do one just a motion to a point mr lindsay and mr leffley to be part is that you mr leffley yes okay motion by mr reynolds second by mr lighty to nominate mr lindsay and mr leffley Discussion. You're ready, sir. Mr. Rick Lowry? No. Mr. Lethley? Yes. Mr. Craybacher? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Lindsay? Yes. Mr. Lighty? Yes. The motion passes six to one. Who was the first and second one there? Uh, the motion was Reynolds, second was uh, Mr. Lighty. 
Uh, the next step of this is I will give it to our fire chief. He will go back and the fire department itself needs to uh, appoint some members as well. Um, but I will have to say that Mr. Leftley and Mr. Lindsay, you may need to be present at that meeting because as a group, you guys will also approve, appoint another person as well. And uh, they haven't said, so, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I assume the one of the guys can then do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And one more time. I believe he was on that last year with me. Did he? I don't think I did. I think it was on that. Yeah. Thank you for coming, sir. You ready, Mr. Murch? Oh, yeah, we are. I thought we were on legislation because they're voting on it. Sorry, it's been a long day. And moving on with the city manager report, update our city parks. Uh, installation postponed. I know at the last couple of meetings we said that it was going to be on a certain install date. That install date did get uh, pushed back um, due to weather, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, we still have a ribbon, ribbon, coating, ribbon cutting ceremony scheduled for December 15th. So they hopefully will be up before then. If not, we'll have to push that ribbon cutting ceremony back. Um, are they still on track for maybe this week, Mr. Kiko? Have you heard it's any It's supposed updates? to be the middle of this week, but weather could push weather it back. Push it back. So we'll definitely keep council up to date as to when uh, the insula installation is complete and then also that final date of the ribbon cutting ceremony. And again, the ribbon cutting ceremony is part of the grant application requirements. Public hearing on countywide dispatch is set for 10 a.m. this Wednesday, December 6, 2017. And that would be located at 50 East Columbia Street on the fifth floor in Springfield, Ohio. Um, basically what's going on is they are proposing the countywide dispatch. Right now they are looking at some different funding scenarios. Uh, the two that are mentioned the most are passing, uh, putting a levy on for the citizens to vote or the commissioners, which is a three-person panel, just saying we're going to set each individual improved parcel $60. So so um, they're still having their public hearing se uh, sessions on those. I would highly encourage anyone from the city of New Carlisle to show up and voice your opinion on that. I will be present at this public hearing. I think Mr. Lindsay is going to join me as well. Anyone else who has availability, if you're not working during the day, please come. Um, if not, I can be there. Mr. Lindsay will be there as well. But this is a pretty big project for the county. Um, some people like the assessment. Some people would rather go to the levy. So um, unfortunately, this council's out of the decision-making process. So am I. So um, it requires that a member from the largest city, largest township, and a single commissioner head this. And so they got uh, Commissioner Lonis, and they got uh, a, a representative from City of Springfield, and then also a representative from Bethel Township. So unfortunately, um, we were not included in those initial discussions. I did bring up concerns about that in, at the end of their governmental meeting. Um, so moving forward, hopefully they include us a little bit more in some of these endeavors. Fire and EMS levy. Uh, we'll be seeking three mills. Will be legislation needed. How this is going to work is ordinance with two reads on 12, 18, 17 and with a vote on 1, 2, 18 so the new council can have a say in that. And we can discuss uh, once the legislation is, is introduced. Um, I think I ordered that wrong. Um, We'll also need one resolution, and that is scheduled for 1-16-17. All this paperwork needs to be back to the Board of Elections by February 7th at 4 p.m. Um, what I would recommend is City Council maybe schedule a work session for next week to go through this. Um, we can get the fire chief in here, myself, Ms. Uh, Colleen, if she has availability, to come in and, and show you why this need is there. Um, Bethel Township recently passed one similar to what we're doing, um, but it comes down to we need more operational dollars. Volunteers are not like what they were. Um, we have to pay people to be here, and on top of that, we are a 24-7 operation. We have capital issues that need to be addressed. Um, anything with this, I think it's best if you do put it to vote with your constituents, but I still think the council should have probably a work session. The only alternative to this is we can have a work session the night of the 18th, similar to how we're doing the water rates discussion tonight. So I'll leave it up for council to decide if you guys want to do a separate work session or maybe do one the night of the 18th. What was it? <laughs> February date again to the Board of Elections? February 7th. Okay, thank you. What will the three mills bring in? It was about 66000 per mill. Okay. And how we want to do this is we can either put two different levies on, one for fire, one for ambulance. I would like to follow what Bethel Township did, one inclusive for both funds. Yeah. And they can be used interchangeably as long as they're used for fire or ambulance operations. So does the alarm work? Is it the 
for me, it doesn't need to be whack and then this week or you know. I can get into the work session next week if possible. I am my own. Well, you guys want a separate work session for it? I have a little bit of an extra thing that we got. Yeah. Oh, good. And then you're going out of town right at the end of the month. No, my wife's having her eye done on the 18th, so I'm going to go. Do you have a few cats? Yeah. The 18th, no, I'm good. good. Whatever day you want. Okay, I'll be good. As long as it's not We're next Tuesday. Right. 12. The first and yeah. first and third and oh. second and fourth is hmm. um, so we have any scheduling conflicts? Yeah, Mr. Yeah. What, what day are you at now? Uh, Sunday morning. We can always do it the night of the council. Similar to how we're doing it here. The 18th. Yeah, we I'm sure that one of six can come up to a conclusion. What about the end of this week? Let's say Friday. Friday this week. No, I'm for it. Um, I can't put it. Not every day, but no. Friday. That's how it goes. Okay, well, all we do. one person's going to be missing, so. <laughs> so we'll have to do it. And so we might as well just you know, pick one. And, yeah. Yeah. Why don't we just do it the day of the meeting? I can do it in time the rest of the week. Legislation needs to be entered for their first read on the 18th. We're doing it like you said before the council meeting. Or you can yeah. do it how we're doing it now. Yeah. If, I'll be honest with you. If we do it the night of the council meeting, it needs to be a work session how we're doing it tonight because we're going to have to break rules of council to introduce legislation to be voted on the 18th. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Do it before the 18th. Council. 18th. 6.30. No, we need to do it during a regular council so we can introduce the legislation. Okay. So it would be similar to what we're doing tonight. Okay. It should be after council meeting. It would yeah. be during the council meeting. Yeah. After the legislation. Okay. So you don't need to vote. And Mr. Councilman Lindsay, we can always convene beforehand and I can show you the stuff while I'm going to be showing then. But that's okay with you. Okay. We just need to, I, I, we just need to meet that first initial deadline to get it in for Then we can have discussion all we want. But at the end of the day, we can discuss, but it needs to go in front of the voters regardless. Yes. To be honest, let's just meet the time frames we need to meet. Does that make sense? 18th. Yeah. 18th? 18th. So similar to how we're doing it here? Yeah, you don't have to yeah. vote on it. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Part of the agenda. Okay, and I, I do believe that's all I have for my uh, city manager's report, so I would be happy to entertain any questions or comments, as long as they're nice. <laughs> there may or may not be a ribbon cutting on the 15th, or it could still happen. Right now it's set as okay. the 15th. If, okay. if something changes, then I'll... Okay. I was planning on attending. So. Well, I need someone to attend, so it'll be fantastic. Yeah. Since I'm not doing anything Since anyway. you got time on your Basically, yeah. once you retire, you're, you're that go-to guy who yeah. says you got to be there. Yeah. Sorry. And if a fire breaks out, I'll be on. You look like last up there. <laughs> city equipment that needs to go on go up deal so we can um, try to get some money out of it. It's definitely past its useful life. Um, our water department parking lot looks like a cemetery for old vehicles. So um, every few years we, we do the same exact ordinance to allow us to get rid of some of those um, unwanted and unneeded equipment. Questions, Council? Yeah. yeah. What did I do? Uh, <laughs> uh, is any of the equipment ever offered to city employees to 
buy? Um, I don't think they've done that in the past. I, I think they've tried, but I still read. I think government property needs to be sealed bids or oh, okay. um, I'm pretty sure. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Establishing temporary appropriations for fiscal year 2018. Mr. Mayor, so Second. Yeah, motion by Mr. Lindsay and And an explanation of this ordinance. Um, uh, in order for us to get past the first of the year without having a full budget approved, this is our temporary appropriations budget that would get us through the first few months. Um, normally we do this. We did have a goal this year to start our budget January 1, but since we have a new council being sat, I would like this temporary to pass so the new council can get, have their say in how the budget is going to shape out for 2018. Council, any questions or comments? Just to clarify. of the city of New Carlisle to the county auditor that will be available to appropriate for the fiscal year beginning January 1, 2017. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. We adopt order 17-46. Second. I'm going to go with Mr. Lowry. Me too. Motion by Mr. Uh, Lethley. Second by Mr. Lowry. Okay, and an explanation of this ordinance. Um, we had recently refinanced the bonds that we did for a lower rate. Well, we need to um, we need to recertify our estimated resources for the new amount, so we can certify this to the county auditor. So, beginning of the year, we said we're going to bring in this much. Well, since we have done this refinance, we need to amend that initial amount so we can certify that to the county auditor. A general housekeeping ordinance. Any questions or comments? Are you ready, Mr. Collier, please? Mr. Lefley? Yes. Mr. Kraybacher? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Lindsay? Yes. Mr. Lighty? Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Ordinance 17 46 <clears throat> passes 7 to 0. <clears throat> Ordinance 17-47, public hearing in action tonight, an ordinance increasing certain appropriations of the City of New Carlisle, Ordinance 17-11E. Mr. Mayor, I can make a motion to adopt 1747. Second. Motion by Mr. Kraybach, is second. Kraybach or second by Mr. Lindsay. And an explanation of this ordinance, um, we need, since again this has to do with our general bond refinancing for our regional bonds and to increase infrastructure, uh, we now have to increase our appropriation so we can spend it. Mr. Council, any questions or comments? Are ready, Mr. Collier, please? Mr. Lighty? Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Mr. Lethley? Yes. Mr. Craybock? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Lindsay? Yes. Or 
ordinance 17 47 passes 7 to 0. Ordinance 17 48, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 12 18 17, our next meeting. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with the sheriff of Clark County, Ohio, for police protection within the city limits of New Carlisle, Ohio. Mr. Mayor. It's just a metric here, right? I'm sorry. Okay, that's right. Ordinance 17-49, introduction tonight, public hearing on action and action on 12-18-17. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for the purchase of water softening rock salt. Ordinance 17-50, introduction tonight, public, in here, public hearing and action on 12-18-17. An ordinance authorizing the city manager and finance director to enter into an agreement with PNC Bank for the Ohio Pooled Collateral Program and declaring an emergency. Is that correct? Declaring an emergency on that one? Which one? 1750. No. Mm -hmm. Is that actually not an emergency? Mm -hmm. No. Can you make a motion to amend that? On yes. The Let's do that. We need, to, we need to amend. Mr. Mayor. Yes. Mr. Weff, I move that we amend uh, Ordinance 17-50, striking, declaring an emergency. Second. And I will apologize for that. I just simply okay. copied and pasted from the um, Security National School Collateral we did recently. <clears throat> it was voting on the amendment. Mr. Lindsay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lyer. Yes. Mr. Rick Lyer. Yes. Mr. Leslie. Yes. Mr. Craybrock. I don't know. But yes. <laughs> Mayor Lowry. Yes, sir. Mr. Lund Mr. Rounds. Yes. Okay, the amendment passes 7 to 0. We remove that language declaring an emergency. <clears throat> Who's the first on that? Ordinance 17-51E, introduction, public hearing, and action tonight. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for city employee health insurance and declaring an emergency. Council? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Reynolds. Adopt 17-51E. Is that Mr. Reynolds? Mr. Reynolds and Mr. Lindsay second. Okay, I got it. Right, Lindsay. And an explanation of this ordinance, um, we are required to give our employees health insurance. Um, I am extremely happy to report that this is actually a decrease of about thirty-five to $40,000 from last year. I don't think anyone saw that coming. I sure didn't. So we were very pleased to see these numbers. Um, so it is my recommendation that council unanimously would approve this so I can get the paperwork started and we can take advantage of these very low rates. So Mr. Bird, what you're saying is, again, is that we are saving more money. Yes. Same coverage? Yes. Mm -hmm. Same coverage. Mm -hmm. And we also added an, no, we added a new employee, but it kind of evened itself out for those people that left. Okay. okay, well, what about the pool that we were in? And we went into the ball suit, but. No, the pool's over at the end of this year. So this is for health insurance for 2018 next year. Okay, so we're. But then we don't, we still have to pay that hundred and something thousand dollars. Well, yeah, that's part of the lawsuit agreement. Yep. We still have to pay that. Yeah. If we lose. No, we still have to pay it. Pay that, oh. Win or lose. Win, win or lose. We might get reimbursed if we win. Right. I just want a quick update on that. Yes. It was about $109,000. Um, it's, bro it's broken down into two sections. We have a cash deficit, which we are responsible for. That's our portion of the deficit. That's about thirty-three to 35000 But then they also have the runout claims. Runout claims are uh, those claims that maybe were incurred the last three months of 2017. That won't get submitted until January 1, 2018. That's projected to be around $66,000. So um, we will be, uh, we've had the um, executive session on that law so we really can't talk about the details of that. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if there's some legislation forthcoming to allow for payment.
consequence of what we already discussed. Part of that is already in the contract that was approved by council when the city entered the pool. So it's nothing that we can do anything about, to be honest. Um, right now, I just quite honestly want to pay it, get it behind us, hope the lawsuit works out in our favor, learn from the experience, and move on.
I'm getting ready to build a massive new building next to the current site they're in. That's about 40 to 50,000 square feet. Part of that is a very common tool for cities to use these incentive agreements for the, to get them to either relocate to your city or expand in your city. Um, and what this does is it gives them 50% back on their uh, uh, corporate individual tax withholdings and also 50% back on their corporate tax profit for a period of seven years. Um, there will be a second part to this on the next meeting, also an emergency form, and that will deal with an enterprise zone agreement between the city and the county that has to deal with abatement of real property tax, real and personal property tax. But we started here first with the city because um, we man our own income taxes. Uh, but again, we'll have another round of legislation at the next council meeting dealing with the property taxes. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Mr. Reynolds. Quick question. Do you know I read this, but I'm not seeing it here. Uh, we know how many new employees they would hire? Um, as part of the um, application that I gave you guys as well, I, 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 if someone has it on them, yeah. right here. I think it's up to, and I'm 34. sorry to put you on the spot. I'm sorry to mean to do 34. it. Like 34. 34. Over the course of three years or seven years? Three years. Mr. Rick Lowry, I do have a question. Okay, not ready. Can I? Yes, yes sir. Okay, sure. follow up on Ethan Reynolds' question. That doesn't say that he's got. To, okay. That application is actually for the enterprise zone agreement. I just wanted you guys to see it a little early. Okay. So that actual was actually be conformed into the uh, uh, agreement that we do at the next council meeting. Okay. Uh, but you can still ask questions. Okay, because I read it earlier mm -hmm. and I thought it said 34 to be added, and it doesn't. It says that's what they have right now. 24 times. Let me see that. No, it's it's, it's in there. It's, I, I think it was more like 20, not 34. Uh, 24 time and 34 temporary. Okay. Yeah. But that's that's what they have now. Not what they're going to add. Item 11A. They will add approximately. Okay. Uh, which presently there's 35 temporary employees. 11A. Okay. Yeah. It says, says present 35. Doesn't say they're adding any. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. I, I picked up the wrong place. It is okay. in here. I mean, here we go. Stating the current. That's not part of the packet. It's given to them separately. Okay, 5, 5, and 5. On 10C. 10C. We're hiring, itemized by full part-time permanent, okay. Uh, January to June 2018, five. So there's a 15 Yeah, July to December 2018, five, and I did miss it, I did not see yeah. that, so. Okay, thank you. And that will be a minimum, yeah. um, so they'll, they'll go, I can't sit there and say they will go above that, but you always put your lowest amount that you think you're going to achieve. It's been growing ever since they have, there. and they, they could hire a lot of people right now. I was talking to uh, Mr. Hensley about it. Yeah, they have two massive contracts. They're, right. they're just overwhelmed with mm -hmm. And they've been growing ever since they've been there. Yeah. So. I mean, I really can't go into details about a private business, right. but Understood. they will be exponentially growing um, over the next probably 10 years. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is a very good chance for the city to keep an anchor that we've had for the longest time because he's looked at other spots outside okay. the city for this outside particular county. building. And um, we are gracious enough that they want to keep it here. We went through a few Board of Zoning Appeals hearings for them to allow them to put this new building in here. Um, they always have the city's in the best interest. Um, so again, these kind of agreements are very, very, very common. Um, so again, it's definitely my recommendation that council definitely approves this and the one coming up for next week. I mean, I, I mean, Support. They're, yeah, they support anybody and everybody mm -hmm. as far as organizations and the groups and the churches mm -hmm. and so on and so on. And they also employ a lot of people in New Carlisle. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, they, they truly do want and to hire people that live and reside in the city. Right? And more importantly, those people do not leave at noon to go to lunch. They eat local. Yeah. And 
there's some local revenue to our businesses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Mr. Lundley? Yes. Mr. Craig Bacher? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Lindsay? Yes. Mr. Lighty? Yes. Ordinance 17-52E passes 7 to 0, and once again that requires 68 votes. Very good. will hold his mobile office hours at the city building on the fourth Tuesday of each month from 1.30 p.m. to 2 p.m. City offices will be closed Friday, December the 8th, beginning at noon for the employee Christmas party. Will that be held here? No, we're going off-site this year. Really? Yeah, so we're going to Carmelo's. Where? We're going to Carmelo's. Good. So we all don't have to cook and we can go enjoy their buffet and have someone else serve us. And the city will not be paying for it if anyone's asking or wanting to know that. We will each buy our own buffet. Wow. Unless you guys want to donate some money. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh. Just kidding. So council's more than welcome to stop by. Uh, 11 o'clock, you say? That usually starts about noon. We'll close down about noon, probably about 10 minutes to get down and stuff like that.